Today I fucked up by punishing the sandwich thief with super spicy Carolina Reaper sauce. In a shared hangar with several workshops, my friends, and I rented a small space for our knife-making enterprise. For a year, our shared kitchen and fridge functioned harmoniously, with everyone respecting one another's food. However, an anonymous individual began stealing my sandwiches, consuming half of each one, leaving bite marks, as if to taunt me. Initially, I assumed it was a one-off incident, but when it occurred again, I was determined to act. I prepared sandwiches with an extremely spicy Carolina Reaper sauce a teaspoon in each, leaving a note warning about the consequences of stealing someone else's food, and went out for lunch. Upon my return, chaos reigned. The atmosphere was one of panic, and a woman's scream cut through the commotion, accompanied by a child's cry. The culprit turned out to be our cleaner's nine-year-old son, who she had been bringing to work during his school's disinfection week. He had made a habit of pilfering from the fridge, bypassing the healthy lunches his mother had prepared, in favor of my sandwiches. The child was in distress, suffering from the intense spiciness of the sauce. In my defense, I explained that the sandwiches were mine and I'd spiked them with hot sauce. The cleaner, initially relieved by my explanation, suddenly became furious, accusing me of trying to harm her child. This resulted in an escalated situation, with the cleaner reporting the incident to our landlord and threatening police intervention. The incident strained relations within the other workshops, siding with the cleaner due to her status as a mother. Consequently, our landlord has given us a month to relocate, adding to our financial struggles. My friends, too, are upset with me. I maintain my innocence, arguing that I had no idea a child was the food thief, and I would never intentionally harm a child. Nevertheless, it seems I am held responsible, accused of creating a huge problem from a seemingly trivial situation. The child is okay. No harm to the health was inflicted. It still was just an edible sauce, just very very spicy. TLDR accidentally fed a little boy in an insanely spicy sandwich. The reaction of everyone involved is bizarre. She left her child unsupervised and he stole. Why are they punishing you? You should have played the guy who likes spicy sandwiches and everything would have been fine, no. Complain to the cleaning company that you caught one of their employees stealing your food. You didn't fuck up. The cleaner did. What you did was right Ross Geller. You like spicy sandwiches. I don't see the issue. Maybe tell the parent and the kid to take some goddamned responsibility for their shitty actions. Should have never admitted to it. Play stupid games win spicy prizes. You're good in my books bud, fuck that little thief and his shitty mother siding with him for stealing. You may have done him a good service and taught him the repercussions of theft at a young and impressionable age. See you fucked up admitting that you had ill intentions. All you had to say was that you like spicy and it was your sandwich and you didn't offer it to anyone. I love the part how the mother took her brat to a fucking industrial zone with lots of dangerous power tool where people literally make and store knives. You don't have to be sorry. You need to take the rest of the sauce and shove it into her as to finally make her smart decisions bolt to fucking glow. Edit. Checked your profile. You are truly gifted man I am literally drooling. Happy cake day. You shouldn't have left a note or apologized, if you hadn't had done that it would have 100 been the kid's fault for stealing your delicious spicy sandwich. It's just a condiment, not poison. OP, you are not in the wrong here. Her nine-year-old kid was not only stealing food, but was left presumably unattended in a construction zone. Tell the landlord that he was unattended and that if he evicts you, you will sue for breach of contract and charge the mother with child endangerment. That'll get him to back off real quick. Edit NAL but shitty people need to face the shitty consequences of their shitty actions. And I can guarantee that putting spicy food in a communal fridge and having a thief eat it is not reason enough to evict you. 
Well, you have the right to put any sauce you see fit on a sandwich that should have remained only yours to ingest. If she wants to let her beastly child behave that way, suffering is going to be one possible outcome. Don't like reapers on your sandwich? Don't make one with them. Make your own sandwiches. Problem solving at its finest. Everyone lived in harmony. Then the Fire Nation attacked. OP your landlord cannot unilaterally end your lease because of this. You didn't feed them hot sauce. They stole food that contained hot sauce. My kid would have been asked, well, what did you learn? And you would get a 3x gift card to a local eatery out of his allowance. You definitely should have read the room lol, you had no need to say that you planned for it to be eaten by someone else. Why did you explain it? Why did you just say you love spicy food? It was hot sauce, not rat poison. This doesn't even meet the legal definition of a booby trap. Kid learned a lesson. Mom learned a lesson. It does suck that the thief was a kid. For lots of reasons. The note and confession made things awkward. I feel like if you'd feigned ignorance you would have been fine, no one else tasted the sandwich so you could have even played it down. Sucks about getting kicked out though. You didn't fuck up. The mother fucked up for not supervising her kid and not teaching her kid not to be a thief. Also the kid fucked up for being a little thief, but that could also be on the parent if the kid was poorly it's also possible he was taught not to steal and did it anyways. The fact the mother blamed the theft victim and not her brat kid says a lot though. Nine-year-olds can read and the reaction of everyone involved is just off. That many people cannot come to the same strange and awkward conclusion about this situation, there would never be a consensus about that odd reaction. Sue the landlord because this is not a legitimate reason for ending a lease. Just bringing the lawsuit alone will have them changing their mind. Sounds like you admitted to spicing it up not for yourself, but for catching a thief. Never ever admit to something like this. There's Taco Tuesdays, you have Valhalla Thursdays, when you make the most devilish sandwiches known to man. Indian, Mexican, Korean, whatever, it's supposed to kick you out. That's your way of surviving till Friday. If someone steals your food, it's not your fault. Actions have consequences. All this situation did was teach the kid he could steal with little consequence. Bad parenting at its finest. Why did you admit to booby trapping the sandwich instead of just saying yeah, I like spicy food? You fucked up by admitting to spiking the sandwich on purpose. Should have just said you like spicy food. F that kid and his mom. You should have never said you spiked the sandwich with hot sauce. This makes you culpable, and people are mad at you for good reason since you knowingly went out of your way to harm someone regardless of the reason. You can't do that. However, if you were just a spicy boy then no one could be mad. You made the situation worse for yourself by discussing that you set someone up. Amateur hour. Should had just said nothing. Who says you can't bring spicy food? Sounds like you are being discriminated against. Did you sign a contract with the landlord? I am sure having spicy food stolen is not in the contract as a deal breaker. Threaten to sue him. Man taught the kid a lesson. The mom never taught the kid manners. Oh well. F her, hope the child learned a valuable lesson about stealing. Fuck that kid and his mom. The fuck up was when you admitted to spiking it with hot sauce to punish the thief. You should have just said you like spicy food. This is highly entertaining. The only thing wrong here is that they are tolerating a kid who steals food. I don't care if he's hungry, he could ask politely JF he wants food. Not the asshole. Good lord, the mother's entitlement here is a-